In this fourth part of the digital simplicity series, I'm getting rid of bullshit AI that's in my Logi Options Plus app for my mouse. So I have this Logitech, uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's the standing vertical one. I'll put a link to it below, but it's a great mouse that I love, but they require you to use these Logi Options app if you want to use the button and stuff like that that's on the top. And I really like this button for the play pause function. That's what I've tied it to. Um, and I use it all the time. So I really would like to keep that in my flow, but I want to get rid of this Logi Options Plus app because it's garbage on A, the latest Sonoma, and B, the fact that they just recently added AI bullshit into it. So yeah, I'm trying to get rid of it. Um, the, the problem with it on the latest version of Sonoma that I'd never had before I needed this Logi Options Plus app, before I was just using Logi Options or something like that, that worked perfectly fine. Uh, but now the problem is when I turn on the computer or wake it from sleep, it takes like three minutes or probably not that long, like a minute, minute and a half to actually start up and be usable. So before then, my scroll is the wrong direction, I think, and um, another problem is that it's too slow, it doesn't have my speed settings, just stuff like that, and I'm just sick of it. The only reason I need this app is literally just for this button. So what I'm gonna do is, I heard about this new app called Steer Mouse, and it's got a long domain, but I'll leave it down below. So I've already downloaded that and I have it here ready to install. So I'm just gonna drag it over to my applications and then launch it. I think it's a Japanese app, which is why you saw that writing there. And we'll open that. So I've never used this before. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but I'm just really hoping it lets me use this button. All right, I need to allow it. So let's see, I'll try to open it again. All right, here we go. So, okay, so I have a top button here. So it looks like it automatically determined my mouse, which is the MX Vertical Bluetooth. And I don't know what this on off. Okay, that's just on and off. Edit, okay, so you can have multiple profiles. That's pretty cool. Uh, the top button. So first, what I'm gonna do is go into my apps and I'm gonna erase the Logi Options app. So that should get rid of anything that's already there so I know that this is working. I'm excited to finally do that. I think they also put something, oh, they have a, I shouldn't have done that. I guess they have an uninstaller for it. That might be for the old one actually. I'm gonna cancel that and go here. Okay, yeah, so that's for the old one, so I can delete that. All right, and that should be it. I'm gonna, actually, what I'm gonna do, I wanna put this back because I wanna use the uninstaller for it and get rid of all of that AI. I heard it installs like 400 megs of AI crap on the computer. And I want to make sure all of that is gone. So my uh, scroll wheel is backwards now that I uninstalled that. Um, let's see, App Eraser. Logi Options. Yeah, it's slower. The scroll is backwards, so hopefully all that can get fixed. Let's delete all of that. And I'll empty the recycling bin and good to go. Okay, so now I know it's uninstalled because everything is crappier than it used to be. Let's see what we can do with middle click. I like when it, nah, it doesn't matter. I'm just worried about this. So I wanna be able to play pause I don't know if that's gonna be keyboard shortcut or music control. Yeah, here we go, play. Okay, that should be it. If I click it now and it works, it should open Apple Music. 
It did not, so I don't know if that's going to work or not. So it's telling me to uninstall this driver if it doesn't work. The Logi Options Plus, let's see if that's still there. Macintosh HD Library Application Support. Library Application Support. And it was Logitech Logi Options Plus. I'm just going to delete the whole Logitech folder and erase the trash can. And then I will reopen Steer Mouse. It looks like you can do things like if you hold Command and click it, then it'll do something different, which is really cool. I want to change my cursor speed. All right, here we go. It says this way is faster, but it feels slower. Yeah, okay, so that's incorrect the way they have this, I think. <laughs> All right, I like it nice and fast, maybe even a hot little higher. Seems pretty good. I don't know that this is working. Let me try something else and see if it works. Application switcher, maybe. Yeah, so that's not doing anything. So maybe I need to use this button. Okay, now it's working there. Let's see if this opens with Apple Music. Yes, okay, so now that button works. So Steer Mouse is a success. I think I want it even faster though. I really like having a super fast mouse. All right, I think this is exactly what I want. Those are like really the only two things I care about. Maybe I'll do something with the wheel if it can do speed. Yeah, it can do speed. So maybe I'll change that in the future, but for now it's good. I'm just gonna close that. I don't know if it sits, it doesn't look like it sits up here. So hopefully it starts on computer launch and I don't need to do anything else. Um, yeah, that's it. I thought I was going to need to restart the computer or anything, but I don't. I can just get r completely rid of the Logi Options Plus app. So that's really awesome. I hate that app. And Steer Mouse seems great. One thing I will say about Steer Mouse is let's open it again. I don't know if it said this in the app, but it is a paid app. So you can purchase it here. It said it was a 30 day trial. So I don't know if there's certain parts that are a 30 day trial that you'll have to pay for or if the whole thing is paid. It's 20 bucks. Um, the way it works now and the fact that I don't have to use that Logi Options Plus uh, app, I will pay for it if I need to. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's much better supporting small developers rather than massive corporations anyway. So that's pretty cool. And I'm very happy with this. So this was something that I've been thinking of since they launched this AI and since I needed to install this ridiculous Options Plus app. So I'm very happy to have this. I hope it starts immediately whenever I uh, lock and unlock the computer. So that'll, that's yet to be seen, but it seems pretty good. I'm pretty uh, hopeful. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it, especially if you have the ridiculous Logi Options Plus app, and I will see you in the next video.